Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be talking about curb nudges. And before we dive in, I just want to say this is a curb nudge tutorial for those with light things. The most important steps and things I think about when doing a curb nudge is one, to approach the curb at 90 degrees. As you're approaching, slow down, lean back to expose as much of the tire to the curb as possible and also to clear the curb. And lastly, to get your weight up, physically jump off the board as you're doing the nudge. Uh, once your tire is about to hit, what I do is nudge with my back foot on the flight fin while simultaneously pushing down on my front foot. And what that'll do is basically help the tire get up and you'll see the motor will actually spin. It, it wants to go up. The other important thing when you're doing curb nudges is for you to physically jump. So when you're doing the nudge, you want to do it as you're jumping and, and getting your weight off of the board. It's important to get your weight off the board because then the motor only has to move up the, you know, itself to 30 pounds um, rather than you know, your entire body. So once you start off on the small curb, take those same fundamentals to a medium curb and just keep practicing. Uh, I always like to approach at 90 degrees, although I can at some different angles. It's much easier at 90 degrees because you get as much of that rubber on the, on the curb as possible. This size curb right here is about the biggest curb that I will attempt to curb nudge on. And for curbs of this size, actually a lot of the time I will just do a curb hop, uh, which is different from the curb nudge. The timing is different and you actually, you know, jump with the flight bins and get the board in the air. I'll be doing that on a future video. But just like I always talk about, the most important thing with really any anything in life, and especially on the one wheel, is just getting the reps in and getting practice in. So I like to just find a small curb and just do laps, hopping up one side, dropping down the other, and that should really help to, to get comfortable and to take it out on the, on the street. Uh, curb hopping is one of the most practical things to be able to do on a one wheel, and it really just takes your riding to that next level if you don't have to get off the board. All of the other one wheel rules apply while doing curb nudges, so it's always good practice to bend your knees, Keep your hips, shoulders, everything centered directly over the wheel. As you're about to perform the curb nudge, you really need to go in confident and just visualize yourself getting up over that curb. So hit the nudge, give a little hop, and then try to land you know, where you think your, your board is going to land. When you're practicing riding things that are out of your current skill level or comfort zone, uh, be sure to you know, wear your, your protective equipment and, and be safe out there. So get your helmet on and wrist guards. That's pretty much all I usually wear, although I do have some other gear that, that I usually don't wear. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Guys, please hit me with that thumbs up and subscribe if you guys like the content. And let me know what else you want to see. Uh, as you guys probably saw in the video, I recently got some... Uh, some float plates and uh, some new grip tape. Um, so I'm trying to think the next video if I should do a, a gear equipment video or maybe a curb hop. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and let me know if, uh, if I missed anything else. Thanks guys.